Hello friends! <laughs> Today is day 12? Yes, it's day 12. Um, and today's prompt is Hera. She's up behind me, so I better duck down so you can't see her. Um, spoilers and all that. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. I tried again, something a little bit different, and I think it paid off. And yeah, this is making me sound really up myself, isn't it? I'm sorry if that comes across as that way, um, but with a challenge like this there are always going to be ones that you really don't like and there are always going to be ones that are better than others and it's really interesting to see that growth and how how it works uh so without further ado here is Hira and um yeah I'll talk you through the process right now all of my recording equipment seems to be failing me <laughs> so I'm trying a slightly different setup with the microphone and seeing if this works. My apologies if it's of poor quality. Again, um, I tried recording on my phone. My phone is not happy. Again, um, yeah. It's just... <laughs> I mean, it's pretty typical of, of trying to use technology and it, it not quite going to plan but that's okay um because i got the footage and i'm here talking to you so yeah uh today's prompt is hera and she she is the the wife of zeus that seems to be what she's best known for and being vengeful upon the the women who have affairs with zeus seems a bit unfair to be honest um because it's really zeus who's the not great person um not great god um yeah all of that anyway um with this one i decided to keep it really simple in terms of colors and go for a kind of attic vase vibe um <laughs> so if you're familiar with the the old uh, you know the ancient greek um vases that would be painted with scenes from mythology. They are usually red. Um, some of them ha are are black or white, but they they pretty much all use red, uh, which is like a brick red, and black and white. That's kind of what what they are, um, and that's what you see in a lot of uh, anything that references. Greek mythology and, and Greek art will often have those colours, so I wanted to stick with those. It was a long-winded way of saying it. Terribly sorry. Um, but I only have limited time to record this, so I'm not going to go back and change it. Um, so, <laughs> with this, I decided to stick with black and white and, of course, copper, because I love the copper ink. As I keep saying, the copper ink and the gold ink are just... I'm loving them so much, so much. Um, and using it with the dip pen, which you're about to see. Oh, it's so fun to use. And yeah, again, being very careful to work from left to right and not smudge what I'm doing because I'm pretty bad at that. Uh, but I go in and do several layers of detail with this one. So this is the first round, just doing sort of basic outlines of the clouds that I would planned out ahead of time and giving her hair some structure. And once again, Lyra wants to go outside. That's the door. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, then I go in and add a lot more detail. And I am... I think this one might be my favourite. I know I keep saying that. Um, but as I'm discovering new techniques or new ways of using the medium, I am kind of learning and growing and with each one, I think, hopefully getting better. Um, so with this one, I, I kept the same kind of colour schemes I did with the Penelope one, except her face is white rather than spending the time going in and filling it in with the, the Copic markers, which saved a bit of time, uh, which was just as well because this one did take quite a long time. It was, again, about three hours, and that was without the, the Copic markers. Um, and most of that is doing all of this detail, which you're about to see. And I managed to crop off the top of this piece with the camera. Sorry about that, guys. But you get the general gist. 
and I was listening to the end of The Subtle Knife and starting The Amber Spyglass while I was listening to this because when I finished reading the, the second book of Dust I really wanted to dive back into this world again so I went back to his damp materials as I have done many times <laughs> in my life and um, it's been a little while since I read them so it, it feels fresher while still being very familiar um, it's like every time you go back and reread Harry Potter it, it's very familiar but there might be some details that you've forgotten about um, which is always really nice I, I enjoy that feeling of remembering about I don't know something that Fred and George did that I hadn't remembered or you know just just little things because um, I, I am pretty good at remembering the the bigger picture stuff and um, and some of the details but yeah it's it's almost like reading them again for the first time but not quite so you have to be careful with how long you leave it you know not reread them too quickly <laughs> which is something I've done with some of my favorite books maybe a little bit too much but I do like also having that extreme familiarity with them um, but yeah I've got quite a few books now that I, I do that with and I revisit quite often uh, I'd say the top ones are obviously The Name of the Wind that's probably the main one uh, but also The Secret History Harry Potter His Dark Materials and more recently The Raven Cycle which I've now read four times and absolutely adore I feel like I keep seeing more things in there each time uh, which is really wonderful another reason I'm doing this is to save money on audible credits um, <laughs> because especially with doing Inktober I'm spending a lot of time at my desk and listening to audiobooks which I have to, have to now listen to on my iPad as opposed to on the the phone because I'm recording on the phone but that's okay um, it all, all syncs up so when I stop it on my phone it'll then ask me do you want to go to the, the spot where you were last synced on this device and and it, it just continues seamlessly I haven't used that function before but that's very useful um, as I'm switching between the two between like, going out and doing a walk with Lyra or sitting and needing to listen to it on my iPad so that's quite cool um, yeah this really came together well and I was a bit worried about this lower part because I hadn't really planned that out how it was going to interact with the text and her hair but I actually think it worked pretty well it it, it looks pretty seamless and it th there's nothing too jarring and yeah it's, it's very simple this one but I think the simplicity really works the simplicity and high level of detail um, you can tell that this took quite a long time to make because there are so many lines and um, it, it's also very kind of graphic and simplified in some ways so yeah like I said very pleased with this one um, I'm finding that more and more as I go that I'm, I'm happy with how they're turning out uh, which is really great <laughs> um, it's a good feeling so let's hope that continues and yeah let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite so far uh, i think this is my favorite so far but we'll see <laughs> there we go is my phone gonna work again oh yes it is okay i had to go through and delete a whole lot of files and um to allow me to do this but yeah there, there is hera oh who you may have spotted in previous videos because i didn't do a very good job of you know cropping her out but anyway um yes if you are new here welcome my name's Holly, I didn't introduce myself earlier, but um, yeah, if, if you would like to join in on this Inktober adventure, you can use the hashtag if you want to draw and use some of the prompts. Um, it is never too late. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you want to join my Inktober journey and see what I'm doing um, in the future weeks to come, because uh, we're only about a third of the way through, then subscribe to this channel and you can see more stuff like this hopefully we'll be improving as we go uh, that is always the hope Alrighty, thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one